on your jacket. How about Chucky's Sherilyn Bouncy? You all seem to love my moles at the mall YouTube, so I've done a few now. Book, book, book. So I figured I would do a new Moles at the Mall Easter version. You know, I think, why not? Because you all love when I make it and I like to go back and watch, kind of really remember what I've gone through. So this is Moles at the Mall Easter version. So anyway, um, just before I was at Woolies and as I was walking through the gates, just before the gates, I saw they had some Easter stuff. So they had the Cadbury's cream eggs in it. And then they had the dicky little baskets with the fucking little baby chicks for the kids and all that sort of thing. And then they had hot cross buns. And I already said to myself I wasn't going to get hot cross buns this year because I buy them. No bastard eats them and then they go off and I throw them out. Waste of money. They're a bit too dear anyway. So as I was going through the gates, I noticed there was one bag that was a bit different to the others. And I looked. Caramel and sticky dates on the hot cross buns. So I thought, oh, that sounds nice. And as I went back to go and get it, the gates closed. And it's stupid there because once you go through the gates, they don't open again. So I thought, all right, well, that sounds a lot better than just normal hot cross buns. So I'm going to go and get those ones. So I walked out, you know, through the bit with the, where you put it in the plastic bags and pay for it yourself. It doesn't get the lady to do it. You actually do it yourself I walked out through that bit and went to go around through the front again just as I got there there was this young bird and she had a chubby little daughter with them they grabbed the hot cross buns what I wanted and so she goes through the gates and I thought that was the last one that's I, I come around just so I could get those and she's fucked off with them and I didn't know what to do and I thought fuck it fuck it I'll just say what I was gonna do you know fair's fair I wanted them first and I'll just tell her. And I kind of followed her for a little bit. So she went up through the fruit section of the fruits and the meats. And just as she got up to the back near the bakery, to the cookies and the breads and all the bakery stuff, what they make there. So I said to her, I said, excuse me, darling, no drama. But as you walked in, you grabbed the um, hot cross bun, sticky date, caramel. And that's what I wanted. And she goes, oh, it was the last one. Yeah. They must be popular. And I said, I saw them before and I was going to go and get them. As I went to grab them, the gate closed. So as I was walking around, that's when you picked up the hot cross bun. So that was actually the packet that I wanted. Oh, and then she goes, oh, sorry. <laughs> and then we kind of stood there for a minute. And so I was thinking, okay, hand them over. <laughs> and she's just standing there looking at me. I don't know what was going through her head. And so I put my hand out to like, sort of like, throw them and I'll catch them sort of thing. And then she goes, oh, well, first in, first serve. I said, what do you mean? And she says, I want them. I got them. And I said, you don't need to turn it into a big drama. I saw them first. I think you should give them to me, please. And she says, well, no, it doesn't work like that. If you're not quick enough to get them and someone else gets them, bad luck. And I thought, all right, all right, I'll keep me cool. I said, have you ever heard of being kind? And she goes, I'm not going to get into an argument about fucking hot cross buns. I said, there's no arguing. There's plenty of hot cross buns here on the table. And she goes, well, why don't you take one of those? And I told her, I said, I was not going to buy hot cross buns this year. And she goes, problem solved. I said, don't cut me off. I said, I was not going to buy them this year. I actually wanted those ones because I saw that they were sticky dates and caramels. It's not the same thing as hot cross buns. If you just want normal hot cross buns, give me those ones and grab some of these. And then she says, I want the honey and sticky date. I said, you do not even know what the fucking thing is. Caramel and sticky date, not honey. Can you please give them here? And she says, don't talk to me like that. I've got an 11 year old here. And I said, I don't care how old she is. Then I was actually thinking the way you're going on, she's going to turn out like one of the other little bitches in my other YouTube. Rotten Little Girls YouTube. Go and click that and watch it if you want. I said, I'm not leaving until I get the hot cross buns. And she goes, well, you'll be here all night then. And we'll be at home eating the hot cross buns. I said, don't try me, girl. Do not try me. It turns into this big fucking standoff with the hot cross buns. And I noticed there was the bird over there that worked in the Woolies. She was looking at us and she had this confused look on her face. So I gave her a wink. And so she comes over and then 
as she gets there, this bird in front of me turns around, looks at her, and she says, Hi, Susan. And I just thought, fuck me, bitch. She knows her. She's just going to let her have the fucking hot cross buns. And so I said, so that's it, is it? Two against one. This bird starts laughing and shaking her head, and she goes, would you believe all for some hot cross buns? I said, don't you start. I said, there's two sides to every story. And I told this bird, I said, when I was walking in, I saw him first. And then the other bird was getting them, just as I was going to get them for myself. And then she goes, oh, well, that's the way it happens, you know. First in, the, the best dressed sort of thing. And I thought, no. I said, you work here. You're supposed to make sure everything what happens is is fair. She goes, no, no, I just stock the shelves. You can fight for yourselves. And then she says, at the end of the day, it's just hot cross buns. And we get new ones in every day. You can come tomorrow and get some more. I said, if I don't get those hot cross buns, I'm never coming here again. And she says, well, what do you want us to do? I said, look, I'm not going to go and get in a big fight about hot cross buns. And this bird goes, oh, a bit too late for that. And then her little bitch of a daughter laughs along with her. And I thought, charming. So I said to her, I said, look, you want some, I want some, there's six in a bag, let's split them. I said to the bird, I said, do you have more plastic bags in the bakery? And then the bird cuts me off again, she says, no, I'm not splitting them. So I just, I, I lost it then, I was just down like this. And then I grabbed them, I snatched them off her, and then I just looked at her, I was, and then she snatches them back off me. So I grabbed them, and then she snatches them back off me. So I grabbed the end of the, the thing the, where you tie it up and I would not let go. And she goes, let go. I said, no. And she goes, you're not getting them. I said, if I can't get them, you can't either. So I grabbed the other bit and I dug my nails in. I went through the plastic and I kind of shredded them up a bit. She just let go and dropped them on the ground. I said, looks like neither of us get them. <laughs> and she shakes her head and she storms off and she's like, fuck we fucking stupid idiot and I'm just thinking you fucking little scumbag swearing like that in front of your kid that's why your kid's gonna turn out like a scumbag so she walks off goes up the, the fridge section with the eggs and the milk and so as she's walked off I noticed in the, in the kerfuffle what we had with the buns her sunglasses that were on her top they fell on the ground I yelled out I said excuse me so she ignored me keeps walking I said Oh, excuse me. And she turns around and I pointed to the sunglasses on the ground. So I walked up to him and I got my foot and I stepped on him. I crushed him into the ground, the metal, the lenses popped out, all the metal went all bent and crumpled. <laughs> and then she starts storming over to me. So I, I start walking off and walking off and the next thing I feel, she's grabbing by the back of the head and she's raking my head. And I thought, you fucking dog. I was about to swing around and uppercut her, but the next thing I know, one of the security guards from the front, he's ran over to her. He's pulled her off me, you know, because she's gone and attacked me, so it's his job to actually pull her off. So she, the security guard's pulling her off, and she's like, let me go, let me go. And her face is all red, and he's spit flying out of her mouth, and her hair's swinging around like a fucking maniac. Little poor 11-year-old girl's crying her eyes out now. All for some fucking caramel sticky date hot cross buns. And I thought, what a fucking joke, you know. If I knew she wanted the hot cross buns that bad, I just would have let her have them. But... So anyway, the security guard drags her off. You can hear her kicking and screaming the whole way. Fucking F and C this and fuck this, rah, rah, rah. And I just thought, charming. So I did my shopping and I just did a few bits and pieces. And I was actually a bit rattled. I was a bit scared to go through the shopping centre myself. And Des was doing some shopping at ice. So I, I called her up and I said, how long are you going to be? She goes, oh, I'm done, I'm done. I've got two tops, blah, blah. And I said, all right, well, come and meet me at Woolies. Um, there's been a bit of drama. So as we're walking through the mall, you know, I'm telling Des the story. Then we get to the car park and he's this bird waiting at her car having a cigarette. So I pointed to Des, I went, that's her. So I thought, she's not going to try nothing while i got my daughter with me. And it's not like her daughter's going to jump in. She'd get her ass kicked. So even though Terry's parked up here, I said, let's go and walk right up to her and just pretend we're walking to the car. So we walk past, we get closer and we get closer and she and this bird's tensing up and getting all ready. So as we got there, this bird's just staring at us and, and Des says to her, she says, how's the hot cross buns, putrid mutt? <laughs> see this bird tensing up but she's looking at me getting me fist ready so she wasn't going to try nothing not with Desi 
yeah, we just walked past her. And that was that. But it was so fun. Then we went to the car and we told Terry, and he's like, Why are you starting fights in fucking Wallis? Rah, rah. I said, Tess, you went there. Shut your fucking mouth. Yeah, so that's that. Another Moles at the Mall Easter version. So, um, yeah. So that's why I'm wearing the Easter ears because it's big Easter YouTube sort of thing. I hope everyone has gorgeous Easter, gets lots of chalky eggs. So, yeah, just have a real nice Easter sort of thing. So let's leave it at that. You can add me on my Facebook site, www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes AU for Australia. You can add me on my Twitch site, at Sherilyn Barnes, hashtag moles at the mall. <laughs> Easter version. <laughs> add me on my Instagram site, at Sherilyn Barnes. The Snapchat site is Shez Barnes. And then make sure you click subscribe so you'll be able to see all the YouTubes that have come out before and all the ones that will come out in future days as well. All right, let's leave it at that. Happy Easter. Have a have a bunny kiss. And uh, ciao for now, chookies. Very nice. said, you walk into someone's house and speak to them like that, you watch you don't get a smack in the mouth, Jasmine. And then Terry says, Sherilyn. And I said, no, fuck her. I said, Jasmine, and I lit up a cigarette, and I leant over, and I ashed my cigarette in her dinner, and I said, there's the ash in your fucking salad. And then I went to my room.